Hi, welcome to the video. Um, I thought to do a detailed video as an owner of our Coachman Laser 675 2019. Um, one of the reasons I thought I'd do that is because when we bought this fan about 12 months ago, um, there didn't seem to be many um, videos on the internet of owner reviews. It tended to be uh, people going around caravan showrooms and things. So I just thought I'd do a more of a descriptive overview of the caravan. So if you start on the near side of the caravan, you've got two whale external sockets here. So the first one there is your external gas barbecue point, which we tend to plug our uh, Kadak into, and that runs into the uh, gas uh, locker at the front. Uh, you've got another one here, which is your 240 volt external supply. So you can use that in your awning, things like that. Um, moving over to the door, you've got the full length door, so coachman lasers don't tend to use the, um, the stable doors, it tends to be a one-piece door. Um, here you've got the weight plate, so you can see on this caravan uh, empty weight is 1640, uh, maximum weight is 1800 kilograms. You can, I believe, if you're doing a new caravan, you can have that upgrade to 1900, um, so it gives you another 100 kilogram payload. Um, so here you've got the two large vans, which is for the thematic um, fridge freezer. And then down here, obviously you've got your twin axle with the twin uh, Alco wheel locks. I've also had quad movers on as well. So we went for the purple line movers. Uh, you get a really good warranty on those. Uh, they're lightweight as well compared to a lot of movers. Uh, and also they've got lots of power as well. So I've um, been really, really pleased with those. Um, if you move back towards the rear of the caravan, got quite a large um, external locker here which goes underneath the bed. Um, so that's a really, really good storage space. Um, we use that obviously quite a lot for, for all our items. So what I'll do now is move to the front of the caravan and show you the lockers. So this is the front of the caravan. Um, Coachman, um, over the recent years, have moved to a twin locker system rather than the traditional uh, single locker. So in this locker, we have um, two gas bottles which are the two six kilogram bottles. Um, you've also got enough room in there for, for bits of storage as well. So quite quite a good use um, of space there if you want to put the additional items in there. Um, you do also on the, uh, as you do on most caravans I suppose now, but you get the Alco ATC trailer control as standard. So on the hitch you'll get a, um, a green light before you set off to tell you that's all uh, ready to go. Uh, and then you've got the Alco pitch stabiliser as well. This side of the caravan again got another locker. So this is where I put a lot of the wet items, so I've got obviously the external drain pipes and the water and things like that and the toilet supplies. Again that's only about half full, really really good use of space. I do tend to put longer items uh, underneath the bed because obviously as you can tell it's not a, you don't get the full length. So I tend to put those items under the bed, um, but still plenty of storage there. So moving to the offside of the cover, you've got the external outlet for the Alder Wet Central Heating System. So that's the um, exit point for that. Here you've got a external shower point. So this is really, really useful if you've got dogs or wetsuits or bikes and things like that. You, just, you can just plug an external shower in there. It's cold, it's cold supply um, and you can wash your items off um, when you get back from the beach or muddy dog walks, things like that. So really useful. Uh, and then this is where you plug in your uh, water pump into your waste barrel or mains if you're on site. Here you've got your um, battery locker. So again, um, so we're, we're, we're currently plugged in at the moment. And this is the power supply for your um, mo motor mover. And you've also got a satellite point there as well um, for the TV. Um, just above here, you've got a um, LED light um, for um, external light, sorry, for the um, at night time, if you're doing your, your services in the dark um, and you want to service those in the night, that's a really good useful light. Moving up to the rear of the caravan, obviously this is the bedroom window, and then with it being a rear end bathroom, this is the bathroom window. Um, here you've got the um, it's got a flush tank, so that's where you'll put your pink in there. 
um, and then in here you've got the uh, toilet set which is in there um, again you just pull that out and then you can take that to the um, Alson point on site so what I'll do now that's the exterior of the caravan uh, we'll go inside the caravan and I'll show you the interior so here we are inside the coachman laser um, the first thing that strikes you when you walk into this caravan um, is how light it is so it's um, got really quite light wood which we really like um, and then you move into the light spacious lounge area so this uh, lounge area does seat four with it being a four berth caravan however we have had six here when playing uh, cards and things so you can easily six six people should you wish um, the upholstery on this coachman is pocket sprung as well so it's really really nice and soft and supportive um, moving to the top of the caravan you've got the sunroof with the pull down blind as well uh, you've then got a shelf area here which is nice you want to put some ornaments and things on uh, moving down you've got the two pioneer speakers um, and then you've also got another two speakers in the bedroom as well so it's actually got a four speaker uh, stereo system which does fill the, the caravan with some nice sound um, you've then got, uh, moving down, you've got four switches on that side for all the lighting, another two down this side with a 12 volt socket. We will do another video showing the lighting in the caravan when it gets a bit darker because it's, it's quite a nice feature of the caravan, it's probably worth seeing. Um, you've then got this large surface here which is good for putting drinks on. You do also have a pull-out table here, which is which is particularly nice on the coachman's because it doesn't take up any uh, room on the top there. Um, so underneath that, you've then got a large drawer. This is the pull-out slats for the double bed. And then underneath here, you've got some more storage as well. So underneath this uh, particular bunk is just storage. We tend to keep a lot of the uh, the bedding in there as well because it's nice and light then under this side you've got all the um, heating for the alder wet system so what i'll quickly do is take the cushions off there and then i'll show you what's uh, underneath that bunk so this is underneath the bunk um, here you've got the alder hot water boiler um, so this is a 8.4 litre boiler um, here you've got, which is standard on this caravan, but I do believe it's an optional extra now. So this is called an Alda Flow. Essentially what this does is when uh, you're on site, this will just keep heating up water on demand as you need. So if you're in the shower, you can just keep having an extended shower as long as you want to until it runs out of water. Uh, absolutely brilliant feature. If anybody's looking at buying a caravan, I highly recommend it. I think now it's about an £800 an additional option extra but it was standard on a 2019 laser um, here you've got um, one of the drain valves and there's another drain valve down there as well uh, here is the alarm system and then that's where the 12 volt battery is which obviously you um, access from the external side of the caravan uh, and then this is the fuse box which you can see if you just press that there you can easily get your fuse boxes there which is all uh, nice and clear so this is the kitchen of the laser 675 uh, as you can see it's a really nice uh, bright open space um, over the top you've got some overhead uh, lockers which are different to the rest of the caravan so there is slightly different color and they've got um, a nice uh, shine finish to them as well so all the lockers inside the laser are soft close as well so you can just let go of those and they, they close really nicely um, moving over here you've got a Russell Hobbs microwave, uh, moving down you've got the Dometic um, hob and oven so this hob is three gas burner and it's also got your electric hob as well. Um, then you move over to here so you've got a nice, it's a nice large sink complete with the, the glass lid, it's a really nice, really nice tap on the, uh, on the laser as well. Um, and then if we move down a bit we've got you've got three large drawers here and um, so that's obviously like the cuddle drawer uh, and then you've got a large drawer there as well you've got some under storage there underneath the oven 
we don't tend to put anything in there because there's gas pipes and things but there is room in there and now this is a this is a really nice feature which we particularly like so in here you've got a uh, pull out lock cupboard so plenty of storage in there it's got nice deep storage in the bottom as well so we, we particularly liked that um, moving over to the other side of the caravan again you've got more storage up here um, you've got another two sockets there as well there's a tv point with um, aerial and then there's two usb ports as well there, which is which is really really useful for charging your devices and then down here again you've got another pull out larder cupboard this one's a little bit smaller but still really really nice feature and you've also got the pull out table for setting up in the lounge or the awning wherever you should wish to put that um moving back a little bit more you've got the Dometic fridge freezer so this is quite a a big fridge as you can see uh, lots of storage in there um, this particular fridge some people like it some people don't uh, you can see open it that way you can also open it that way so have you as you wish you can use it whichever way you want to uh, moving up you've also got the freezer again quite a quite a good size freezer for a caravan um, and again should you wish you can open that both ways up here you've got more storage which obviously we use that's where we keep all our uh, pans and things so yeah a really really useful um good sized kitchen is, uh, is what I would say in, in the 675. So this is the bedroom of the 675. Again, really, really nice use of space. Um, here you've got the, uh, the side on island bed. So that simply uh, just pulls out on runners um, and then you drop the mattress down into the slot and then just push the bed back a little bit. So you still, you still have enough room to get back with the with, the, with this particular coach and with it being a uh, seven foot seven as opposed to uh, standard width caravan, so slightly wider than normal caravan, so there's still plenty of room to get round. Um, above you've got um, the Dometic large skylight. There is one of those in the lounge as well, um, which obviously gives a light, nice light airy feel inside the bedroom. Um, here you've got the, um, you've got some overhead reading lights. Um, they are obviously dimmable as well and they, they've got USB ports on so again really good in an evening when you're in bed and you want to charge your devices uh, you can you can charge those and then you've got these pockets here which are a really nice material uh, with, with laser etched on as well uh, and you can fit an iPad inside that pocket which is nice and big uh, and a mobile phone in there so again really really useful um, above the bed you've got three overhead lockers which are really really good size again all soft close as well so they just close automatically either side of the bed you've got uh, two wardrobes the wardrobes do have lights in as well and um, so when you open up the, the light comes on so you can see inside the wardrobe which is a nice feature and um, then you've got the um the sideboards as well so if you're sitting sitting in the morning having a having a brew um You've got a nice little shelf to put your, your tea on there as well. And what I particularly like as well is what, if you have got a, a cup of tea there, you can still actually access your uh, wardrobe as well. So that's been quite well thought through. Um, here you've got a um, drawer as well. And you've also got some more storage underneath there. So on this side of the caravan, um, you've got... Um, this is where obviously we, we keep our TV. Um, so you've got a little dressing area here. So there's a there's a mirror here, um, which you can which you can use. And then in there there's a there's a cupboard where uh, obviously we tend to keep uh, little bits and bobs. You've got the TV down down there, and then you've also got another cupboard with more storage, which we tend to keep clean and stuff and Hoover bits in there as well. So yeah, it's a really really useful bedroom. Um, you've also got um, an overhead light here and a shelf, which again is, is entirely up to you what you want to put on there. We just tend to put a, a few ornaments. Um, again, in the caravan, you've got your blinds in the bedroom, and then you've also got your fly screens as well, which again is you get that all throughout the caravan. 
So this is the bathroom on the 675. Um, we'll start over this side. So you've got the uh, Dometic toilet. Um, now, some people do say they have a lot of problems with these Dometic toilets, particularly the, um, the release flap into the, into the tank. They say it's quite stiff. We've never had any issues with it. Um, I particularly like it because it's got um, several indicators on it to tell you when the cassette's half full. And it also tells you when you're getting low on flush as well, rather than all of a sudden you get the full light on or your flush is empty. It gives you that little bit of warning, which is which I think is really good. Um, here you've got the heated towel rail. Um, again, because the caravan's got um, Alder wet central heating system, so it's got radiators uh, throughout the van rather than blown air. Um, that's when you uh, can get the heated towel rail as well, which is a really nice feature. Uh, moving here, you've got a really, really nice big mirror with LED lighting down the side. Um, and then behind each one of these mirrors, you've got storage with shelves as well, which is really good for storing your bathroom stuff. Um, we particularly like the tap design on here as well. So again, you've got the, you've got the tap there for your, your hot and cold feed. Uh, it's a really good size sink. Uh, it doesn't make a mess, which, which is good and go on the sides and stuff. And then under here, you've got some more storage space as well so so plenty of storage um moving on to this side you've got a towel rail here and a, and a towel hook which which is um which is useful and then this is what we particularly like so we use all the onboard facilities on our caravan um and here you've got a really really big shower so as you can see a um, nice large shower there's plenty of room uh, to bend down um you've also got storage here with some shelves for your shampoos conditioners body washes and things uh, and then you've got the the nice shower system there complete with the eco camel shower head as well so that's good for saving water when you're not on a on a pitch with mains and um, one other really useful thing which i think has been well thought out especially in the uk with all the rain is this hook here so this is useful for hanging wet coats, wet trousers, or even towels after your showers and anything that's wet and it just allows it to, to drip into the uh, the shower. You don't have to have that in your awning or in your caravan, which, which you don't want. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. Um, if there's anything you want to see specifically about this uh, caravan, um, if you just leave a, um, a note in the comments um, and we'll, we'll, we'll try and do our best on that. Thank you again.